I honestly have a lot of shoes, but there are really only five that I wear on a daily basis. And now that I think about it, these five are pretty much the only shoes that you need in your closet. So today I'm showing you exactly which ones you need. So the first pair of shoes that you need in your closet are Air Force Ones. And I think that they should be in the color white because when they're the color black, it means that people really shouldn't mess with you too much. But when they're the color white, they are a lot more casual. Now these are hands down my favorite pair of white shoes because they are very affordable. I love the silhouette of the shoe. They go with pretty much anything that you could wear. No matter if it's shorts, pants, sweatpants, anything, a pair of Nike Air Force Ones are gonna go with it. So that's why you don't really have to worry about it too much because they'll literally go with any outfit that you have. And like I said, it is very affordable. It's only $90. So if you haven't picked up one yet, I definitely think that you should get your first pair. The link is gonna be in the description if you wanted to pick some new ones up as well as every other shoe on this list. Now the second pair of shoes that I highly advise that you should get are a pair of running shoes. Now more specifically, I'm going to be telling you that you should definitely be picking up a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost. Now I've had so many running shoes and hands down, the Adidas Ultra Boost are hands down my favorite. They are definitely the most comfortable and most versatile. Now they also do go with pretty much anything that you own, but my favorite ways to wear them are with shorts or with sweatpants. I like to wear them casually or even at the gym. So if you are a big fan of that, so no matter what type of look you're going for, the Adidas Ultra Boost will go perfect with it and the whole reason why they have became one of my favorite shoes to wear because right now it's summer and I have been going out a lot and when I go out I typically walk a lot throughout the day so I need a good pair of comfortable shoes and the Adidas Ultra Boost are exactly that so if you haven't tried it out already I highly advise that you pick some up again the link is gonna be in the description so that way you can pick up your first pair as well the third pair of shoes I highly advise that you should get are some Converse Chuck 70s now these are hands down one of my favorite shoes right now just because they are very cheap they're very versatile and honestly just Converse in general are such a classic shoe you cannot go wrong with them especially with this different variation of it the Chuck 70s are much better than the actual Converse in my opinion now it really doesn't matter which one you get low top or high top it's entirely preference again with colors when it comes to Chuck 70s they have like this off-white color which I love you should definitely think about picking up some of those if you are into like white shoes or if you need a pair of black shoes the Converse Chuck 70s should definitely be your next pickup the fourth pair of shoes I highly advise that you pick up are going to be some Reebok Classic now the reason why I say Reebok Classics is because for me personally these are my beater shoes which you need a good pair of beater shoes if you don't know what that is it's basically a pair of shoes that you could wear in an occasion where you're going to be going out and you know your shoes are going to be a little bit dirty you need a pair of beater shoes now this should definitely be a more cheaper pair of shoes and the Reebok Classics retail for only $75 so this is definitely a good price for a beater shoe so if I'm going to be walking around in dirt or like I said, I know my shoes are going to get dirty. Now for right now, I've been wearing these to the gym a lot because I know that my shoes are going to get dirty in the gym. So I've been wearing the Reebok Classics and it's pretty cool to have a pair of beater shoes that are also the color white, which I know might sound a little weird because like I said, I know they're going to be getting dirty. And when they're the color white, all those spots and stains are kind of hard to remove and they're very noticeable. Since they're the color white, they literally go with anything that I'm wearing. So I don't really have to worry about styling them because a white pair of shoes are really easy to style. But when it comes to the beater shoes, even if they're dirty, I honestly like the way they, they look. If anything, I pretty much like the way they look more than they look brand new. Now the reason for this is because when they're dirty, they kind of add like this little character to your outfit. And also when they're dirty, you're not gonna worry about where you step because, because it virtually doesn't matter what gets on the shoe because they're pretty much your go-to shoe for them to get dirty, if that makes sense. Honestly, as long as it's not a bunch of different colored stains, it's going to look good. So mine just have like dirt marks and like skid marks and stuff, but when, if they are stained with like coffee or colored drinks, then that kind of looks weird. But pretty much what I'm getting at is you should definitely pick up a good pair of beater shoes and the Reebok Classics are definitely that. The fifth one on the list are going to be Air Max 97s. Now these have definitely been one of my favorite shoes lately. I have been wearing them a ton. These honestly aren't really as popular as they used to be, but if you're anything like me, you do not not care about what's popular and what's not if you like a shoe it doesn't matter what other people think you should wear it that's something that I always say in this channel because that's exactly what I always recommend pretty much what I'm getting at is other people's opinions don't matter all the hype all the trends doesn't matter if you like something by all means go ahead and wear it that's exactly what the Air Max 97s are. I remember a few years ago, everyone was wearing them and now I don't really see them too much, but they are still definitely one of my favorite shoes. So if you haven't gotten in a pair yet, or if you got in a pair a few years ago and you thought that they are dead, I definitely think that you should pick them up as well. Now these are actually way more comfortable than I thought. I honestly didn't think that they were gonna be that comfortable, but 
Again, it's one of those shoes that I could wear if I know I'm gonna be walking around quite a bit. I definitely want to opt to some more comfortable shoes and the Air Max 97s are exactly that. And that's pretty much what I tried to get at. All these five shoes are definitely gonna be something for every occasion. So if you're gonna be walking around a lot, you have a pair of shoes to go with that. If you're gonna be walking around quite a bit, not necessarily the whole day, you go wear something like the Air Max 97s. And if you just wanna look good and you know you're not gonna be walking around too much, the Converse Chuck 70s are a good option as well. So if you have these five pairs of shoes, you're definitely gonna have something for every occasion and you're gonna be ready. And that's exactly what I recommend in fashion. You, sh you should always be ready to look good no matter the occasion. And these shoes are definitely gonna be exactly that. So I did hope that this helped and if it did, make sure to leave a like, I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed already, definitely think that you should because in this channel, I simplify men's fashion. So you can go ahead and subscribe right here and if you want to watch more videos, here are a few that I really think could help you out. Anyways, other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Later.